Now let me show you how to use your heavy calc's cut and fill functions. Say you've got a plan that uh, calls for an elevation of 112.2. We call that our proposed grade for this particular spot. Um, you take a shot and you measure 109.3 is the existing. So what are you going to do? You hit the cut fill key and of course you're going to fill 2.9 at that particular location. You can mark the stake that way. But now what if it's a little bit bigger situation? Maybe it's a 40 by 40 grid. Um, 1,600 square feet. We'll use the same proposed, 112.2 is our proposed grade, um, and you shoot the four corners and you get numbers like 111 on the first one. I'm going to put that in the memory and accumulate these numbers. Um, I shoot the second one and get 120, put that in the memory. Third one came in at 109, put that in the memory, and then the last one was say 118 I put that in the memory. Now I can recall my total in the memory, but I don't want the total. If I press it again, it gives me the average of all those numbers, 114.5. So I can say set that is in my existing, set that in as my existing by hitting equals existing. I now hit my cut fill and we're going to cut 2.3. Now let's label that as feet and multiply that by the 1600 square feet of that 40 by 40 grid square feet, just like that and then convert it to yards. So we're going to cut 136.2 cubic yards from that particular grid. So that's a quick overview of the cut and fill function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.